So next I want to give you guys a brief introduction to the command line interface for MySQL. So how you can do all the stuff that you would in PHP MyAdmin, but from the command line. Um, I've got PHP MyAdmin open. I'm logged in here as the user cars, as the database user cars. And you can see that the only thing I can really see are the classic models and information schema. Those are the only databases I can see, but I, I've got access to all the tables. So how am I going to do this? Well, through the command line interface, whether you're in the command prompt on Windows or you're the terminal uh, on Mac or you're on Linux, whatever, uh, same sort of idea. There are programs for MySQL. There's command line programs that you can run, like there's a MySQL shell. If you've got MAMP installed, you will find it inside your applications folder. There's a folder called MAMP. Inside that, there's one called bin. Inside that, Apache 2. And inside that folder, there's a bin. Inside here, there's a whole bunch of files. If I list them all off, there's a whole ton of them. But if I do list MySQL asterisk, there we go. This is the list right here. Here's all the ones that start with MySQL. You can see there's quite a few of them. Um, the ones I'm going to talk about right now are just MySQL. There's a MySQL dump right down here. Those are the two that I'm going to be using here. There's also MySQL D. This is the daemon. This is the server that's running. So when you start up MAP, it's actually starting up MySQL D, the daemon. It's running in the background so that it can talk to the database. All right, so MySQL, how do we use it? Well, I'm going to clear this off here. I'm in the folder where that is. If you want, you can set up an environmental variable to point to this location so you don't have to navigate to here to run it, but I haven't done that yet. So, so I'm just going to type mysql-u, which is the option for user. And I have to provide the user that I'm going to use to log in. Then if I add dash p, it means prompt me for the password. If I don't do that, it's not going to let me log in. It's just going to say, okay, well, I tried to use cars to log in, but it didn't work. So we'll do that, dash p. Now it prompts me for the password. So we'll enter that. And there we go. Welcome to the MySQL monitor. I'm now logged in as that user. It's the same thing as in PHP MyAdmin. I'm just doing it from the command line. We can do show databases. So this will show me a list of the databases that my user has access to. Great, so I can see I've got those two. Then I'm going to go inside of this one right here. Now, I don't navigate. I'm not on a web page. What I do is with the command use, I give the name of the database that I want to use. And with a semicolon, there we go. It's now says database changed. I am now using that. So any commands that I run from this point on will be pointing at that database, using that database as a reference. So show tables. There they are. So select star from offices. Any SQL command that you want, that you want to run, you'll be able to do it. So all the stuff that we've done and all the videos so far, you can run those commands here. You can log in as a different user if you want. And when you're done, just simply exit. Done. We're out. Okay, second one, the MySQL dump. This is something that you might want to use at some point, regardless of whether you're doing anything from the command line. This is one command that you may at some point need. MySQL dump. This is the command to export stuff from the database. If you're ever looking to find more details on it, you can do MySQL dump dash dash help, and it will give us a big long list of all the possible options that we can use here. So there's quite a bit of stuff, uh, including the locations of all the config files that it's going to look at in the order that it's going to look at them. So if you ever need to put options in for this to be used, there they are. Okay. So I want to use this command. Let's clear this off. I want to use MySQL dump, and I want to extract the contents of this classic models database. Well, to do anything with the database, I need to be logged in as a user, just like I was with the previous MySQL program. So cars dash P, I'm going to ask for it to prompt me for the password. Then I'm going to say which database 
classic models. This is the one that I want to dump. This is the one that I want to export. There's an option dash R if you want to include all the routines like the stored functions and stored procedures. You can do that. Once you've got all the options set up that you want, arrow pointing to what is the file that you want to save this in. So I'm going to save this inside of my user folder inside of documents. I've got a folder called YouTube and inside that I've got one called dumps. That's uh, right here. So that's the location of that. Here's my dumps folder. This is where I'm going to save my file and just come up with a name. So let's say models1.sql. .sql, that's the type of file that we want. So we run that command. It's going to give me a prompt for the password. I have to be logged in to do this. Oh, I didn't give myself permission for that. So I do need lock tables to do this. <laughs> okay. Um, so I will just pause this, go add that permission in the, uh, I'll have to log into PHP my admin as root, go to the user administration, edit the user and grant the lock tables permission to my user cars to, in order to do this. So I'm just going to pause for a moment and go do that. Okay. So I've jumped into the user accounts. I'm logged in as root, went to the user accounts, went to the database section, and I added lock tables on there. So that's done. I can now jump back over to here and I should be able to do this now. There we go. Okay, so that ran and we'll double check in here. Yep, sure enough, there it is. There's my SQL file and I'll open this up with Visual Studio Code. There we go. Here is my SQL file that I generated using MySQL dump from the command line. So it's got all the tables, all the trigger, all the uh, store procedures, the functions, everything that we've got inside this table, all the data, it's all inside there. And if you want to modify this at any point, like I said, you can use the help command to take a look at all the different options. You can say whether you want certain tables, if you want to skip over certain tables, if you don't want the data, if you only want the structure, all the options are in here. The same sort of things that you would do through PHP MyAdmin. All right, so hopefully that uh, makes sense to you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. I'll provide a link to the rest of the MySQL playlist. And as always, thanks for watching.